what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back in the house once again for some more invincible episode four is here today and we're just gonna jump in last episode was really good man really good i'm actually very surprised by this series to be honest i didn't think i would enjoy it this much because to be honest i do not really love watching animated western comic stuff anymore I, I don't enjoy it because it's it's never anything new for the most part you get what i'm saying i really enjoyed watching um you know into the spider into the spider verse that was really cool um so this from that end to this it's the first time i'm watching something again that's animated in western culture enough off like off the same kind of style as western comics so that you know me praising this anime is uh, i call it the anime but it's you know it's it's in the same genre to be honest it's just animated different you know japanese stuff have a very distinctive style of animation and western comics have a very distinctive style of their animation so this is of western culture this is about western superheroes so um in some ways you know the other day i was thinking about this and i, and I was some ways i think they bottleneck their stuff a lot more when it comes on to the comics they kind of bottleneck themselves and i think that's why the genre is kind of dying out is because they bottleneck themselves into superhero stuff to be animated and that's the reason why their stuff is kind of like oh it was gonna be about superheroes see now they want to do star wars anime and stuff like that kind of step out of the box a little bit you know what i'm saying so uh we'll see how that goes but i think that in some ways they bottle it themselves because you're never gonna see western animation do drama stuff it's probably not gonna do well if they actually do like they're not gonna do animated drama you know what i'm saying like they, they're just not gonna do stuff like that see when it comes on to anime you know what i'm saying in japan or of you know asian culture they have so many options because they don't just you have plenty of people that is making all these writing all these stories and manga and stuff like that and if it hits is more than likely it's going to get animated now the problem that they have over there in japan is the fact that most of these studios they don't make a lot of money they don't pay their employees properly all kinds of stuff so you know what i'm saying so um you have some studios that do stand out that you can see that their budget is high up there but at the end of the day for the most part most of these studios they don't make the they don't get millions of dollars to 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 put into an anime you get what i'm saying um i think that if those if those guys over there get the budget that even this show might have gotten we'll be getting incredible animation coming out of coming out for for anime in general so um and it's not just you know you pick and choose where to spend your budget in in anime over here it's just straight you know animation is just great all the time <laughs> yeah i mean like it, it very consistent right like you're watching these episodes and you can see that the budget is actually there like there's no there's no part of this anime that i'm looking at and i'm like oh that's terrible animation <laughs> like the animation is clean very fluid so and they're doing an incredible job so give them props for that but in any case man um if you guys have not signed up for the backup channel yet, make sure you do so because that's the only way you get notifications from me because the original channel you guys already know notifications just don't work anymore hopefully it can be fixed one day but that day isn't not today so hey <laughs> hopefully we get there but in any case and it looks like oh my god is that crust well i guess that is crust Cause I was, um, yeah, guys, I was watching, I was watching Naruto <laughs> earlier. I'm not going to lie. I was watching Naruto earlier and before I jumped to record this stuff and 
there's just certain scenes in Naruto, man, that just the tears, man, the tears. So that's where that's coming from. I didn't even realize because I was like crying at that scene, the ending scene, like right, right after the, the, um, the big fight with Sasuke and Naruto, I was watching over that fight and watching the ending of the fight. And when, you know, stuff happened, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Let's get, let's, let's get into the episode. No grace whatsoever. Deep breath, buddy. The air's thin up here. Oh, okay. Ah, what the fuck? Hi, sorry. It's okay. I'm in. Sometimes I forget how beautiful this planet can be. Too bad the human race is helping on destroying it. Good thing they got us, right? Huh. Yeah. I guess. So, is Viltrum that different? Oh, it's very different. We've ended wars all over the universe, brought peace to thousands of galaxies, lifted alien races out of the mud and into the future. That's why I'm here on Earth. That's why you're here. I still can't believe you left everything to come help a planet you've never even seen. I told you I was part of the World Betterment Committee. Yeah, I know. But that's still not a reason. Well, when your grandparents died, I was lost for a long time. They were the only family I had. Coming here felt like a chance to build something new. You mean, like with mom? Yeah, your mom changed everything. She turned this place from a job to a home. Then you came along and she changed it all again. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Do what? Leave everything behind. Keeping the universe safe, living up to our people's heritage, it takes sacrifice, Mark. That's what I'm trying to teach you. Sure, I get that. Okay. All right, one more round, huh? Last one home takes out the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, quit rubbing it in. So I spent all day teaching our son to break the sound barrier. Turns out the only motivation he needed was getting ready for a hot date. A date? Hold up. Tell me everything. It's not a date. Amber and I are just hanging out. Hanging out? Wow. Try not to sweep the girl off her feet too much. Guess where they're going? Out. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's favorite destination for a romantic evening. I don't even know what we're doing. She planned the whole thing. Oh, take charge, girl. I like that. Are you both finished? Because I have six time zones to watch. Let's say we go out too, huh? Can't let a couple of teenagers show us up. Olga wants me to sell her house. Oh, the poor woman's barely holding it together. She thinks there's a conspiracy around the murders. Yeah, she needs to quit drinking. No one. What? You remember last year's Christmas party? She was a wreck. Separated from the water, you dummy. <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot of people don't know that that's how you... They sift the rice through the... Yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Were you napping? I was 
defragmenting decks. Okay, well, quit it. You don't want to miss this. Welcome to our new digs, baby. One more time about how you're an original member of the Guardians of the Globe. You'll do what, exactly? I don't know. Probably explode <clears throat> something. Oh, maybe you're nuts. Is it weird that I'm nervous? No, I am too. Pick up your jaws. You're not tourists. This isn't a holy site. This is your job. The sooner you get up to speed, the sooner people stop dying. Hey, Cecil? Uh, you missed a spot? Blood left that one there as a reminder. And when you prove yourselves worthy of the heroes who came before you, it'll get cleaned off. Until then, stare at it whenever you think you're hot shit. Settle in. We'll talk later. We're cool, right? What? Oh! You mean after you knocked out three of my teeth and gave me a concussion in front of the entire superhero community? Yeah, you did kind of ask for it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. But you know what? All those other heroes, total assholes anyway. Huge assholes, right? Oh, yeah, gangs, dirty, filthy assholes. Okay, that's fine. Rex, please do not allow your personal and professional lives to intersect. Alienating Adam Eve was the direct result of your lapse in judgment. Do not repeat it with Monster Girl. Tell you what, when you grow up here, robot, you can tell me how to swing by. This isn't relationship advice, Rex. This is an order. What are you, crazy man? She looks like she's 14. Besides, now that I'm a guardian, I can ban anyone I want. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. Ow! What the hell? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have pinched a nerve. I forget how soft humans are. of the most powerful man on earth. You shouldn't have to deal with work stuff. Did you seriously say that? What? I'm not just your wife, Nolan. That's why I deal with work stuff. I like dealing with work stuff. Yeah, and I love that about Oh, please, you. don't give me that shit. Don't you dare shush me. Sorry, I meant to teleport to your front door, but this thing isn't exactly Swiss in its precision. I almost killed you. Yeah, I noticed. Didn't expect you on me so fast. Yeah, I'm a little jumpy. Maybe you can understand that. Why are you here, Cecil? Hey! Uh, what's going on? NASA's about to launch the first manned mission to Mars. Yeah, I saw that. Cool. I need your father to shadow the mission. Make sure nothing goes wrong, only he won't do it. I'm busy training my son, Cecil, and with the Guardians gone, I'm needed here on Earth. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to get rid of me. It's because of the Guardians Massacre that I want you on this mission. The planet needs a win right now, and this is it. You think people are going to care about Mars if there's an attack on Earth and I'm not here to save them? I think they're going to care if the first four people to walk in another world end up dying there. My priority is to my family and this planet. End of story. I guess this is the part where I volunteer? I mean, that's what happened last time you came here asking Dad to go to space. <laughs> yeah, that was the moon, Mark. That hardly counts as space. You were just teaching me I've got responsibilities. Isn't this one of them? Your responsibilities are bigger than four astronauts. And Cecil didn't ask you to go. He asked me. If the kid wants to go, he'd be doing humanity a favor. Debbie, help me out here. I don't like Mark missing school, but... I can't think of a better reason than keeping people safe. How much school am I really gonna miss? I can zip up to Mars and be back tomorrow. The fact that you don't know how far away Mars is, is exactly why you... <laughs> <can't> <laughs> it's, uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, right. I'm not ready. Things with Amber are going really well. Sweetheart, lots of people are going to tell you how to use your powers. But it's up to you to make these decisions. You need to decide what kind of hero you want to be. That's the truth. Turn up. <laughs> Sir, we wanted 
Nolan off planet so we could investigate him for the murders without arousing his suspicion. What does sending Mark away get us? A chance to see what this kid can do. And more importantly, if his heart's in the right place. And if it isn't? One nightmare scenario is enough to worry about right now, Donald. Really just Hi. went and bought an $800 box. Amber, I'm, uh, I'm... You're what? Volunteering. Just like you. I'm, I'm going away and helping people for two weeks. What? Like, far away. Well, that's great. When? Today. <laughs> um, any minute now. For real? More or less. Where are you going? You know, it's deserty. Hardly anyone goes there. Um, there's almost no buildings or anything. You don't know where you're going. I signed up last minute. The firing <laughs> Amber, you're incredible, and you make me want to be a better person, so at the risk of sounding totally desperate, please don't lose interest in it while I'm gone. I figure you banked about two weeks of interest. Oh, God. Maybe. The kissing is getting a little excessive, don't you think? I'm just kidding. I'll bring you back a souvenir. And we have liftoff of the Mars mission. An international exploration of the red planet that will broaden humanity's knowledge in ways we can only imagine. Ugh. It's a waste of Mark's time. It was his decision, and I'm proud of him. Isn't this what superpowers are for? He doesn't understand his responsibility. He's 17, Nolan. He hasn't had responsibilities before now. You know, ever since Mark got his powers, we've been different. I'm trying to teach him. You've been distant, annoyed at everything, and you've been mean. I've been under a lot of stress. You've been talking about home. You never talk about home. I want Mark to know his people. I don't even know your people. I've never even met another Viltrumite. I've told you. Well, you. You've told me stories, yes, but that's not the same. You're hiding something from me, and it hurts. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm not... You're not what? I never thought I would have a family. And then you came along. And I love you and Mark so much. But when I see Mark with his powers... And after what happened to the Guardians, I'm terrified I could lose everything. Me too. So what do we do? Well, Mark's gone for two weeks. And? Remember our first trip together? No, Lynn. I, I told Olga I'd sell her house. Her house will still be here when we get back. Hey, you asked me what we do. We do this. Yeah, maybe not the best color scheme for this mission. <laughs> <laughs> My dude said shit. <laughs>
I love how he just gets to just go into people's houses, like, <laughs> you know, with no permission whatsoever. What are you looking for exactly? Are those Martians? The hell? Oh. Isn't that um I can never remember his name. The guy that did um Thanos. What is your purpose here? Or it's not. <laughs> it just uh, sounded like him just now. Some of my fellow Earthmen on a mission to your lovely planet, and if we don't get back in one piece, I'm really gonna look like a dick. Oh, hey guys. Oh uh, yeah, we don't know who that is. It was a secret mission. Well, you suck at it then. Mistakes were made, but everything's back on track, so if you don't mind, get out of your, um, hair, and maybe keep your little squid dogs under control this time? The Sequids are the very reason I captured your people. They are a world-destroying race who led the trail of destruction across the universe before crashing onto our planet. Alone, their group mind is scattered and weak, but with an appropriate host, they become unified and unstoppable. Our shape changing abilities let us resist them. But if a single sacred fuses with one of your people, then oh. as one and savage Mars. And soon after, Earth. Oh. <laughs> Earth, how are you able to resist them? I'm part Viltrumite. Ever heard of us? I am the Emperor of Mars. <laughs> I've heard of you. <laughs> okay, well then you know we like to help out wherever we can, which is why I was sent to perfect these astronauts. So if you're all good, we'll finish our science and head home. Impossible! The humans are scheduled for immediate execution. We cannot risk them coming in contact with the sacred. I understand. Okay. 
hard feelings, right? I'm gonna take a rock if that's okay. Yeah? I've been wanting to go to Mars since I was a kid. Now I never want to go back. Oh, never would be too soon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they were knocking boots in there, man. <laughs> By the looks of it, less eventful than whatever was happening here. Uh, we'd love to hear more over dinner, sweetie. We're having chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you didn't listen to me when I told you to drop the goddamn case. Can't excise me. Destroyed the book you need for ritual centuries ago. The Demonius Ex Mortem? I had a few of my guys reconstruct it. They used artificial intelligence to figure out the missing words. Technology, am I right? Dominari Demonium Mayum Mit Never Ad thought Inferno. you'd be the one Dominari to protect him. See, that's the problem with demons. You only see good and evil, black and white. Well, I need to keep things gray until I can figure out why no one killed the Guardians and how to stop them. Say I'd see you in hell, but there's a worse place waiting for you. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, now you care about the demon? He's not dead. He's just back in hell. Isn't 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 that worse? can do it as you oh did you talk to Cecil yeah get this some new evidence came up and apparently I'm in the clear he even apologized Cecil never apologizes I know so nothing to worry about everything's fine what is that all right so that was episode four of invincible that was a funny episode <laughs> even though most of these most of these episodes are pretty funny. It's like, I'm not even going for it. Like, it, it's really keeping me entertained. So, the story keeps on. They seems like they send back the detective. You know, he's a demon, whatever. They sent him back to hell. Um, so, they are investigating Invincible, you know, for the murder of the Guardians. They are in investigating them. Like, I thought they were just keeping an eye on him. But they are investigating them fully about this about these murders so um i don't know man when it comes on to omni man it's just uh, i don't know what box to put him in what boxes does he check he's very arrogant and he's a sweet talker as well so that's why i'm wondering like do you do you say he's a narcissist 
you get what i'm saying like he he disassociates no empathy it's just hard to read him because it seems like the only thing he cares about is his immediate family which is debbie and mark right that's the only people he really cares about so it's really hard to put a finger on it tell how he's going to be now when it comes on to a situation where i don't know what robot is trying to do i don't know i think maybe he's trying to get a real body and maybe things are going to go wrong maybe that's the reason why he let this dude out of jail because he's brilliant um you know what i mean and he he took the dna of rex of rex blood from rex um, so I don't know what that was all about. So I don't know how to put a read on robot now because is he bad? You know, has he been bad all along? Was is what the guy said to him really rubbed him the wrong way and he's decided to get a, a full body now? It's crazy. The mission to Mars was pretty cool, you know. Uh Mark and, and, and Amber getting pretty hot and heavy, you know what I'm saying? So those are also some incredible things that they're doing in this show that I really, I, I, I'm really cool with it. Like the mission to Mars, I don't know if that's going to come back and bite them in the ass because it seems like one of the, um, the things came back to earth with one of the astronauts. I don't remember what they call them, but the things that were basically killing the Martians, you know, so Things are getting wild. Things are getting wild as we go deeper and deeper into the season. We're halfway through now. So the next four episodes, um, you know, I might do another one in this session. Just release those three episodes. Um, but we'll see how everything goes. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I will see you guys for the next one. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.